alongside the Duke of Kent and Lady Louise Windsor is the one braving the elements wearing blue and in the carriage behind we have the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester and Vice Admiral Sir Timothy Lawrence whose wife the Princess Royal will be riding on parade. Huge crowds gathered right along the mound and indeed here on Coast Guards. And the Duchess of Edinburgh's husband, the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Edward, took over the colonelcy of the Scots Guards from the Duke of Kent just a few months ago. The Duke of Kent had served in that role for 50 years. And Lady Louise, they're currently studying at St Andrews University, reading English. And really enjoying her time in the kingdom of life. You see the street liners there charged with guarding the processional route from Buckingham Palace to Horse Guards Parade. And today they are under the command of Lieutenant Colonel Andrew Breach, commanding officer of 1st Battalion Welsh Guards. Chris, the streetliners play a crucial role. Uh, absolutely, it's worth a word for the vital work done by the streetliners. First out, last back in. Their role is really to be a symbolic but also a very real guarantee of the security of the route that the King will take. Drawn today from all five Foot Guards regiments, including the London Guards, the Foot Guards' own reserve battalion based here in the capital. This procession heads for Horse Guards Parade. All eyes return to Buckingham Palace as His Majesty the King prepares to depart for his second birthday parade as monarch. His Majesty the King and Her Majesty the Queen in the Scottish State Coach. And in the second carriage there, the wonderful and welcome sight of Her Royal Highness, the Princess of Wales, along with Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. It is the first time we've seen the Princess of Wales in public this year. And a sign of how important this day is to the royal family. And as Colonel of the Irish Guards, sign of how strongly the Princess of Wales felt about being here for them, because it will mean a lot to them, Chris. Uh, absolutely. All Irish Guardsmen were hugely proud when the King appointed the Princess of Wales to be our Colonel in 2023, and it's just brilliant to see her out uh, watching her own regiment this morning. It'll be a massive tonic and a lift to everybody on parade. The King and Queen in this glorious carriage, which obviously very suitable for the weather and glass sided so that the crowds can see them. And for King Charles III, his second birthday parade as monarch, he first attended Trooping the Colour as a two-year-old in 1951. 
So he's watched on or taken part in this parade for more than 70 years. And you can hear the cheering from the crowds. Today he'll take his place on horse guards as Colonel-in-Chief of all seven regiments of the Royal House Princess of Division Anne's is kicking on parade off. today. And the Princess Royal there on the right is a very good horsewoman and that may be needed today because also riding in the Sovereign's procession, the familiar sight of the other royal colonels. The Princess of Wales there acknowledging the crowd and she said how touched she has been by the many kind messages she's received and the strength of support. And just wonderful to see 